We get a lot of remakes these days, many of them unnecessary and not really an improvement. So when I heard they were remaking Mean Girls as a musical, I was on the fence. This is one remake I am glad I checked out. It has some catchy music and just enough charm to justify its existence, even if it isn't reinventing the wheel. Let's talk about Mean Girls 2024. It seems popular nowadays to immediately shit all over every remake. I think Hollywood has yet to comprehend the power of nostalgia and how as people get older, they become less and less open to change. They don't want to see their childhood movies get remade because they think they were perfect how they were. Back in my day, we didn't use CGI. People were wearing ape suits and they should just go back to that. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's how I think some people sound when they constantly complain about every single remake that is made. Sorry, it's just how you come off. But remakes are not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes they are good. Sometimes they lead to something better. Hell, if we weren't doing remakes, we wouldn't have the two amazing stellar Dune movies that we just had. So yeah, there is room in this world for remakes. Mean Girls 2024, that's what I'm going to call it because I'm not sure what else to say about it, stars Angori Rice, Renee Rapp, Christopher Briney, Jack Well Spivey, and these people. Oh, and also Tina Fey and Tim Meadows came back and they're playing the exact same characters. Very happy to see that. Yes, very happy. By the way, just like the original movie, this movie is the brainchild of the brilliant and hilarious Tina Fey. Or as I like to call her, Liz Lemon. Ain't no party like a Liz Lemon party because a Liz Lemon party is mandatory. I'm usually pretty hesitant with musicals, but I don't really have a good reason to be. Because honestly, most of the times where someone has showed me a musical or I've watched one, I've ended up really liking it. When my best friend showed me The Greatest Showman, I was very impressed. I was very impressed with the movie Hairspray, I really liked Sweeney Todd, and I was very impressed with the music in this movie. The style of music is modern, it fits this kind of generation, and I thought it worked out really well. I was very concerned about taking a movie like Mean Girls and turning it into a musical. I was like, what the hell? What do you mean a musical? But I guess I hadn't seen the Broadway show, because I don't go to Broadway, so therefore I was not aware, but this has already been done before the Mean Girls musical, I mean. And so, turning it into a movie, wasn't that big of a leap. By the way, I want to give a shout out to Avantika, who plays the dumb girl in this movie, the role that Amanda Seyfried played in the original. Avantika girl, you did great. You were hilarious. And your singing voice is on point. She has a really good song in this movie, and she is just very, very funny. She was hilarious. I loved her. Good job, Avantika. Thumbs up. Story-wise, this is the same movie as it should be. It would have been very strange for them to change parts of the story. I will be honest, though, it's probably been 10 years since I saw the original Mean Girls. So if they did make any changes, there's a good chance I wouldn't notice because I don't remember every single story beat from that original movie. But that being said, I recognized almost every single scene that happened in this movie. So I'm pretty sure they kept it all the same, other than the musical twist, of course. And anyway, the story is intact. I thought all the actors in this movie fit into their roles pretty well, you know, and they had some big shoes to fill because the original movie is such a cult classic at this point. It's actually quite brave to take on these roles because I would be hesitant. I'm also feeling very bad for the people that take over for Harry Potter. Ah, you guys, whew. be careful, be careful. Anyway, yeah, the actors of this movie did great. Renee Rapp does a great job as Regina. She captures all the same bitchy mannerisms and bitchy demeanor that Rachel McAdams had in the original movie. And in Gory Rice, she does a very good job as Katie. She has a lot of the similar charm that Lindsay Lohan had. Again, big shoes to fill. By the way, speaking of Lindsay Lohan, she's actually in this movie. She has a cameo, and I was so glad to see it because... I like her. She looked different. You can tell, in my opinion, that she's had some plastic surgery, but she is still gorgeous, and her scene was hilarious. I was thinking how interesting it must have been for her to be filming this movie in this particular scene from a different perspective, because this scene that she's in is in the original movie, but yet she's playing a different character. That must have been very bizarre. But kudos to Tina Fey and Lindsay Lohan for making this awesome cameo happen. I'm very happy that it did. I did hear that there was a joke in the original cut of this movie that Lindsay Lohan didn't really like. Something about fire crotch. Unfortunately, I didn't get to hear the joke because it has been removed from future releases. But yeah, there's something interesting. Lindsay Lohan. 
Also, another shout out needs to go out to Jack Wow as the too gay to function character. He was also very, very funny. He delivered a lot of very good humor and he fit into the shoes very well. There's a scene in the original movie that I just absolutely love because of one particular line. I'm sure you guys know it. So there's a scene in the auditorium after the big chick fight has broken out in the hallways. The girls have discovered the burn book and everyone is mad at each other. And then there's the scene where this character says something very funny. And this guy in the new movie delivers the line and I was so excited to hear it. And I'm happy to say he delivered it with grace. Good job, my boy. She doesn't even go here. Look at this thing. I can't Sexy. even see it. Like a face breast. So I can tell very much that this movie is a passion project for Tina Fey, and I am super glad that she got to remake the movie with this style. People were probably looking at her thinking, no, you should not remake Mean Girls. It's already good the way it is. So why do it? But I'm glad that this was greenlit. I think the musical aspect did really work very well for Mean Girls. I didn't think it would, but it actually works out great. The music is really catchy. The actors did a very good job filling in these shoes. Very brave of them. Very, very brave. Great job all around with this cast. Great job, Tina Fey. So in my mind, there is room in the world for the original and this new remake. I think they can both exist simultaneously, and they both have their own benefits. Maybe you're not in the mood for a musical, so then you can watch the original one. And if you are in the mood for a musical, you can watch the new one. And I think you're going to enjoy either version. So for me, I'd give this movie an 8 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed it. By the way, if you want to see this movie and you have Paramount+, Plus, it is available to watch on that streaming network. Something to think about. Have you seen this movie? Do you plan on seeing it? Are you against it because it's a remake and you just really don't like remakes? If you feel that way, I urge you to reconsider because this movie has a lot going for it and it is worth your time. But that is my opinion. What do you think? Did you guys watch this movie yet? Put your thoughts in the comments and let me know. Did you like it? And also, did you like this video? If you did, please hit the like button. And do you want to hear more things from me? If you do, then you should subscribe to my channel. And that is all I have to say. Until the next time, folks. Later.